how to send a complex payload for a post api using pojo classes nowadays people are asking these real time questions to check how much you are familiar in coding they will give you a complex payload like this and there will be a post url you need to test that api so let's understand this payload a little bit this json has two json objects and one array over here this is one object okay and then we have the complete json object and we have an array array of strings so let's see through code how we will able to send it using pojo classes pojo is known as plain old java object creating a payload using pojo classes is widely used across the industry let's create a new class we we'll create a new class we will give name as employee pojo we don't need any main method here we are not going to execute anything okay so this is our request body right so what we'll do we'll create variables as per this request body so uh, first these two things you are seeing right these are the strings so let's create private string we'll name as this similarly you can create one more and you can name as job okay then you have skills it is a array of strings so what we will do let's create array of strings and we'll name as skills then we have another objects so details so we need to create a separate class for this so what we'll do again private details so the return type will be this class and we'll give details i'll show you what to do for this so now it will ask you to create a class so let's create a class for that okay we'll go there and we'll do the changes and for now what you need to do you need to create getter and setter methods for all these things just right click and go to source and you can click generate getter and setters select all so for all you are going to create getter and setter methods so getter and setter methods got created for all these things now you need to create a constructor with few with all these arguments let's create a constructor we'll pass all these things let's i'll tell you about the details let's keep this much now we can keep it public we'll use this keyword here so this keyword works as a reference to the current object whose uh, method or constructor is being invoked so what we'll do is this dot name equal to name then this dot job equal to job this dot skills equal to skills right okay now we'll see we'll go inside the details class 
so inside detail class again we have to create the strings uh, we have to declare the variables why similarly how we have created for name and job we have to create for company name and email id company name and email id and we'll create data and setter methods for these things source then the data and setter select all okay also we'll create a constructor for details class so we'll pass arguments here company name and email id and here this dot company name and this dot email id equal to email id now what we will do is we will go to our pojo class and here we will pass these arguments also company name and email id ok and here what we'll do this dot details what we need to pass here new details then okay. these things company name and email id clear now we will create another class where we will be passing the json so let me create another class we will name it as post api using pojo so here we will create object of this class employee pojo let's ep equal to new and what we will do here we have to pass the arguments see detailing to pass all these arguments so in we'll pass so in case of name what we need to pass the actual name and here is leader let me keep it here so you can see it this is little bit tricky what you need to add because these are array of strings right so how you will able to pass here you can pass something like this new string and inside this you can pass how many you want okay and for this you can pass company name and here you can pass the email id to pass the string now we have to execute let's copy from our old one and what we'll do we'll pass this object we don't need to string we'll pass it as a object let's execute this is the 
body we were expecting for right name job skills details company name email id all these are in proper format so this is the most useful way to create post request body